Hello everybody, this is Lula in Hawaii. I'm at my coffee table trying to do this video. I think the light's a little better, so this is where I keep some of my crafts that I've been making, sort of French style. There are a couple of candles there that I've wrapped with vintage maps of Paris. Anyway, I was going to show you a book that I've received back. It's a fabric book, and I've received it back from Somerset. It was published in one of the last issues of, I think it was So Somerset. And this is a variation of a book I've made a number of times because it's about Provence and it includes my own sketches. But I put them onto fabric, so pretty much everything in here is fabric. I like to add tabs, so I have added tabs to the sides and the tabs are denim. So that's the front, and I often use this door. It's a door I photographed myself in France, and I just really liked it. It had uh, wisteria growing over it, and so I just added some more flowers to it and printed on my machine with embroidery thread that was variegated, printed the word Provence. Let's take a look. It's hard to photograph these in still photos, but anyway. So this would be the opening page, and this is also um, a sign I saw somewhere in Provence. I tried to keep it as authentic as I could, so I just printed it onto fabric and sewed that on. And of course it's a journal, so I added the word journal. And then it's basically it's supposed to be a walk through a day in a village. And that when you walk into the villages in the south of France, generally they're dominated by the church. Often it's in the church square, but many times it's on a hill. So this one is just one that I... These are rough sketches. I did them when I was on a barge, actually. And then when I came home, I sort of went over them again because they were pencil sketches. I went over them with Pigma pen and colored them. And I've colored them with watercolors, pastels, crayons, chalk, all kinds of things like that. And then just collaged them onto pages, fabric pages. So here is a sign that says the Centre de Ville, Centre of the Village and um, just one of the little cottages you might see in the village. Surrounded by, you know, tattered lace, bits of old doily, um, fabric that to me looked a little bit French. On the other page that faces it is, of course, a coffee cup, I have coffee. And it, the little sign I wrote said, the village is awake and coffee and brioche is being served. So that was one of my favorite things to do in the morning, was run down to the nearest coffee shop for a croissant or brioche. And um, this is just another sketch of a building I saw. This side, I started my tour of Provence last time in the city of Nice, which is on the Mediterranean. So I just wrote a little bit about Nice, and um, there are a lot of palm trees there. So here are the palm trees I sketched with a bird or two. A very charming city that's just been renovated, and it's next to Monaco. It has a wonderful flower market. The castle on top of the village hill. Just another sketch, and I must say quite rough because I did that as we were moving and before I could finish the sketch we'd gone past it so I had to sort of just fill in try and do it from memory and there are little bits of different tapestries, velvet lace a sign tab there with a number that you would see on a house and the word castle at the top I think I showed you that yep. bit of ticking Here's one of the men going to play boule, which is a kind of nine pins that they play every morning in the village. 
there's a little fronton in the village square marked out on the square and um, you see the men with their, generally with their bags but this one doesn't have his bag or their ball in their hand and uh, they play that all over the world in fact I do believe they play it somewhere in Hawaii I know they play it in New Zealand also where I'm from okay this is a very common sight down in Provence clothes hanging on a very rustic clothesline usually just some rope tied between some trees this one is a pole with a bird sitting on it <laughs> and the wind that you get there is called the mistral and it's very hot and dry up here is another sign on uh, denim so we're coming to the back of the book now here he is, he's off to play and this time he's got his lunch and here's some balls and he's heading off for the day with all his friends to the market square and just some stitchery with rustic fabrics a few trinkets here and there in the back I put a pocket with another clothesline hanging between two palm trees and I wrote the sign, see you in the south of France and inside I've put some tags with some more of my sketches and um, another little label and this is one of the markets, actually this market's in Paris but it's a good one, I like that one and here's some scrim different old pieces of tattered table runner and then here we go to the back and this is a piece of old net curtain, embroidered net curtaining so that completes it and on the spine I twisted some various cords and of course I've hung those inside too because I wanted it to look sort of like a bookmark <laughs>